Hello students. In previous video, we have started unit 10 that is averages. And we have learned the formula to find the average. And that is to find the average of a group of numbers, divide the sum of numbers by a total number of addends. That is, average is equal to sum of the numbers. That means we have to add all the numbers which are given and divided by the total number of addends. And we have started worksheet number 1 in which we have started question number 1. Few questions we have done and uh, one question is left and this you have to uh, add all these numbers first in first column and then count the number of addends and then find the average so this part I have given as a homework so I hope all of you have done now next question is find the average of 1 upon 10, 2 upon 10, 3 upon 10, 4 upon 10 and 5 upon 10. So you can see that all these fractions are like. And we have to find the average of these like fractions. So you know the formula. First of all we have to add these fractions and then divide it by the total number of addends. So we know it is very easy to add the like fractions in which the denominators are same. So what we have to do, we have already learned in class third also that in like fractions we have to add the numerators. So add all these numerators 5 plus 4 9, 9 plus 3 12, 12 plus 2 14 plus 1 is 15, 15 upon 10. So what is their sum? 15 upon 10 sent divided by total number of addends 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have to divide it by 5. So to find the average, uh, we have to divide the sum by the total number of addends. So uh, divide it, you know how to divide the fractions. So we have to write the reciprocal of the divisor that is 1 upon 5 and convert it into multiple. Now solve it 5 and the 5 and 5 3 is a 15. So what is the average? Average is 3 upon 10. So 3 upon 10 is the average of these fractions. So in this way we can easily find out the average. Next is question number third, fill in the blanks. So here first one is, we divide 14 by dash to find the average of 8 and 6. So that is we have to find the average of 8 and 6. So what is the formula to find the average? First of all we have to add them, find the sum. So 8 plus 6, their sum is already given. 8 plus 6 is 14. So it is already given. So what we have to do? We have to divide it by the total number of addends. So how many addends are there? 1, 2. The sum is already given 14. And number of addends are 2. 1 and 2. So we have to divide 14 by 2. So this is the formula to find the average. Sum upon total number of addends. So 14 by 2. Next is the average of 11 and 9 is. So now here we have to find out the average of 11 and 9. So you know uh, the formula to find the average sum upon total number of addends. So after adding it we get 11 plus 9 is 20 and 20 divided by 20 upon Number of addends are 2, 1, 2. So 2, so 2 tens are 20, right? 2 tens are 20. So what is the average of 11, 11 and 9? That is 10. Next is the average of 10, 100 and 1000. So find out the average. First of all, add these three 
numbers than 100 and 1000. So what is their sum? 1110, right? And now we have to divide it by number of addends. So how many addends are there? 1, 2, 3. So divide it by 3. So divide it. So 3, 3 is a 9. And 3, 3 is a 9. 2 is left. 2, 1, 21. 3, 7 is a 21. And 0. So the answer is 370. So in this way we can find out the average. Next is we divide dash by dash to find the average of 1, 2, 3, 14 and 10. Again very easy. Uh, we divide kis ko karna hai? Sum by total number of addends. First of all add them. 1 plus 2, 3, 3 plus 3, 6, 6 plus 4, 10, 10 plus 10, 20 plus 10, 30. So what is their sum? That is 30 divided by total number of addends that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So how many addends are there? 5. So we have to divide 30 by 5 to find the average of these numbers. Now next is the average of 16 kg. 18 kg and 20 kg is now again you have to find out the average so to find the average what you have to do you know add them and then divide it by number of addends so uh, 16 plus 18 is 34 34 plus 20 is 54 so sum is 54 Divided by number of addends 1, 2, 3. Divided by 3. So divide it, cut it. 3 ones are 3 and 3 eights are 24. So 18 kg is the average of these three given weights. Now uh, we will discuss the word problems based on the averages. So we have worksheet number two in which we have to solve the given word problems. So the first question is the ages of six children. Ages of six children chosen for a project work are 13 years, 16 years, 14 years, 17 years, 16 years and 14 years respectively. So these are the ages of 6 children that are chosen for the project work. Now what is uh, these are given, ages are given. Now what we have to find, what is the average age of a child in the teen? So what we have to find out? We have to find out the average age. So you know how to find the average. We know the formula. We can easily find out. So what we have to do? So uh, this is worksheet number two. Question number one. That is solve the following. Word problems. Now, solution number A. Solution A. So, to find the average, what we have to do? We have to find out the total age of six children. Right? So, what is given? Ages of six children, and we have to find out the total age of six children. So, uh, what is given ages age of ages of six children that is given uh, 13 years 16 years 14 years then 17 years 
and then 16 years and 14 years right now to find the average what we have to find out total age that means sum now the total age of six children that is what we need to find out the average so add them 13 plus 16 plus 14 plus 17 plus 16 plus 14 years right so add them to find out the total ages total age of these six children so 6 plus 4 10 10 plus 7 17 plus 4 21 27 30 3 plus 1 4 5 6 7 8 9 90 years so this is the uh, sum of uh, the ages of all these six children now average age what we have to find we have to find out the average age of a child that is we know the formula to find the average that is sum sum is 90 upon divided by how many children are there six number of addends are six one two three four five six you know so divided by six so divide it so six one just six and six five is a thirty so that is fifteen years so the average age of a child in a team is fifteen years so in this way we can solve the word problems now the b part of this question number one is sachin scored 98 25 105 62 and 65 runs in five matches these are the scores scored by sachin in five matches now what was his average score in a match so here the scores are given in five matches and you have to find the average score in a match so again in the same way we have to solve this question also solution number b first of all we will find out the total runs scored in five matches total runs scored in five matches right we have to find out the average score in a match so for that we have to find out the sum first so that is 98 25 105 then 62 and 65 so we have to find out the sum so 5 plus 2 7 7 plus 10 17 plus 8 is 25 and then 9 plus 2 11 12 13 19 and 6 25 so 355 runs are scored by Sachin in 5 matches this is the sum now what was the average score in a match so average average score in a match so you know the formula sum upon so 355 that is sum upon total number of addends that are 5 1 2 3 4 5 5 matches total number of matches kitne 5 matches ka ye score hai total run hai so divided by 5 so 5 7 is a 35 and 5 1 is a 5 71 runs so this is the average score of Sachin in a match so uh, we have done two parts of question number one now
try to solve the next parts of this question read these questions very easy the formula is same you have to add the given things given numbers and then divide by divide by the total number of addends so try to solve these questions in next video we will discuss them thank you